what's good and welcome back to another BNZ World Report. I'm Christopher Martin and I'm going to bring you a couple of the recent stories from the many we feature Monday through Friday in our news to know section here at brandnews.com about individuals and events that's making a difference from around the globe. You know, before I go any further, you know on behalf of myself and Team BNZ, we want to thank you all for giving us some really awesome ideas and leads to great stories. We also want to thank you all for the encouraging and inspiring messages you've sent us via email and to our Facebook, Twitter, and MySpace pages about what we provide here at Brand News. So without further ado, let's get it going. Now our first news to know story comes from BET.com and it's Detroit After School Club Turns Boys Into Gentlemen. After tiring of seeing so many of his students engaged in violent and irresponsible behavior, Detroit Elementary School principal Ronnie Sims gave them an activity. He started an after-school program called the Gentleman's Club, where he gives his boys instructions on his three R's, which is respect, responsibility, and reasoning. The Academy's principal, Brenda Scott, told the Detroit Free Press, I kept seeing a lot of boys get into trouble and not wanting to own up to the responsibility of being in trouble. I catch them fighting and the first words out of their mouths are, I didn't do nothing, but there's blood on their knuckles and another boy with a bloody nose. I'd ask them, how'd you get that blood on your hands? And they'd say, he ran into my fists. It became the norm for them to do that. The 80 boys of the Brenda Scott Academy's Gentlemen's Club gather twice a week in the gymnasium and learn properly how to shake hands, maintain eye contact and dress neatly. In addition to Sims' revamp of the three R's, the boys are also introduced to the four T's, which is take time to think. There's a dress code, older boys are required to wear jackets, and all the boys must don ties. Part of the club's curriculum itself is the tying of ties. He says, what I hope is that these boys will break the cycle of male irresponsibility, Principal Sims says, and I want them to make better choices. You can read more through our News to Know section at brandnews.com. Now, for more great news about change, check out what's good from Team B and Z and their special video report. Check this out. The Professional Opportunities Program for students, otherwise known as POPs, was introduced to Tallahassee in March of 2011. An induction ceremony was held to initiate five high school students into the program. Brand New's very own, Carrie Knowles, initiated the new students into POPs. The program gives the students an opportunity to participate in summer internships, and some of the students even gave testimonials about their work. Fire department has to be learning the work ethic of a professional setting. Um, I think without it, um, I might have went into a job minding, not knowing to expect. Yeah, State government officials such as Florida Senator Stephen Wise, Senator Gary Siplin, and Representative Alan Williams spoke and gave words of encouragement. And you have the opportunity to, to be with two of the very best tonight. The same issues that confront the students in Orlando, Florida are, are the same issues that they are dealing with in Tallahassee. And we could have been selfish and said we want to expand in Orlando, but we know that we need to expand uh, in Tallahassee to make sure that we help these students uh, grow up to be uh, good taxpayers and not tax burdens. College students were also in attendance and gave inspirational words to the high school students. And I'm thankful for today. I didn't understand when I was younger, but I'm thankful for today because I am doing something that I love to do. And I'm doing something that I love to do because I love to do. And I hope that you all that there's someone that believes them that supports them, that cares for them, and that's why we are here. We do this with our heart, we do this with integrity, we do this with dignity, and we do this every day. The words of wisdom shared here tonight clearly motivated both parents and students. It's clear to see that students are very optimistic about their future. For Brand News, this is Jay Smith. For more information about this story and others, go to brandnews.com. Great job, Team BNZ. Give yourselves a big round of applause. Okay, calm down. Now on to our next story in the News to Know section here at brandnews.com is from the Washington Post. And it reads, social media friends or haven for scams. Your social media account on Twitter or Facebook may have connected you to a long lost friend, a forgotten classmate, or even a sweetheart, but it can also lead you straight into the hands of a predator. 
All this internet openness has made it much easier for people to be preyed upon by con artists who specialize in identity fraud using someone's connections to certain groups to gain their trust or ultimately their life savings. The North American Securities Administrators Association, or known as NASAA, recently warned investors to look out for shady investment deals pitched by people they connect with on social networking sites. State security regulators warn that con artists are using the information to post to create a false security to make highly targeted pitches within your social group. For years, con artists have found victims through offline social networks such as faith-based, civic, community, and professional groups. Even recently, here at Brand News, we've noticed some online red flags and we've chose not to engage in probable attempts. We take pride in being the type of network that not only brings you positive good news, but in addition, news and information to warn you about unfortunate operations such as this that we're reporting right now. For more information and security advice, please check out the entire article at the Washington Post through our News to Know section here at brandnews.com. Anyway, it's time for us to be out. I want to thank my girl Angela Ray for coming back. She's working on a very special project we're working on here at Brand News. And we want to thank you all again for all those letters and messages you're sending us, encouraging us to continue to do in our heart. We know needs to be done. There's a gap that needs to be filled. We need to bring some balance back. It's not about opinions and it's not always about views. How about some just some news for you to make the decisions and positive news at that. So without further ado, it's time for me to get to where I got to go, which is to find more stories along with the rest of the group. My team, beautiful peeps. That's what's up. Anyway, we'll see you next week and God bless. All right, y'all, y'all can finish your hand clap here.